everyone, this is Addy from ablogtowatch.com and today we're having a look at the Gronefeld 1Hz. Now this is a very interesting watch because the first thing you will notice when you look at this watch is that the seconds hand here in this subdial, this huge subdial, is ticking away like a quartz watch. Now make no mistake, this isn't a quartz watch, it's a high-end mechanical watch as evidenced here by this very very beautiful movement with all the nicely decorated uh, bridges. Uh, one of the things that Bart Gronenfeld told me was that when he designed this uh, movement, he wanted it to have a very, very different aesthetic feel. And you can tell by the number of bridges that it has. One of the things about having so many bridges is that the finishing and the decoration of the movement takes much, much longer than something, let's say, with a standard three-quarter plate movement. So let's move back to the front of the watch. We find that the most interesting thing about this watch, the 1 hertz, is because of the deadbeat seconds right here. But I want to draw your attention to something else, which is the crown. Now this crown is very unique, and one of the reasons why it's so unique is because instead of pulling out the crown to set the time, what you do is you press the crown. So right now the watch is in timekeeping mode, the dead seconds is running. If we were to look here, we find that this indicator is now pointing at W, which means winding, and there's another indicator here which is S. So in this mode, the watch is wound this way. Okay, so now I want to set the time. And let's see, you have a look right here. I'm going to press the crown and you find that the indicator jumps and the seconds hand stops. At this point, what I can do is I can set the time with the crown like so. Now that I've set the time, I want to start the watch again. Pretty cool, isn't it? So this version here is a red gold version. Uh, the 1 Hz has a very, very um, contemporary feel, yet with a classical case. This one has a leather strap. You can see that the case has very classical dimensions, but it's a very nice contemporary twist to the whole watch. Let me show you two other versions of this watch. We have here the uh, Nocturne Technique, which is a titanium DLC coated. This version is an open dial version, as you can see. Uh, you can see the, the uh, dead beats complication. You can see how it works through the dial right there. And here we have a sportier version of the watch. This, is, this version is called Fire. And you can note that it has orange accents on the dial. This one has a very nice, uh, I don't know, sporty, maybe a Formula One kind of feel to the watch. If you look at the strap here, you see this very nice orange stitching. So this piece here is called Fire. This one is called the Nocturne Technique. And this one is called the Dune. Now this is just to give you a sense of the family of the 1 Hz watch. There are lots of variations. These are not all of them. This, these are the few that I managed to get hold of today. But you can really get the kind of style that you want for the 1 Hz watch. Now the price for this one, the 18 karat gold one, the Dune is 55500 The Fire, which is this one, is 44500 and this one right here is 52,500. This all prices are in euros. Well, this uh, the the one hertz is uh, actually a very very beautiful watch. I, I I like this watch a lot. And the thing is that the dead beats uh, complication is not something that you see a lot in mechanical watches, and it's something that's been making a resurgence recently. Some of the watch companies out there have been doing this, but Gronefeld I feel has actually captured the uh, whole spirit of the one of the uh, deadbeat seconds the best, I feel, because they've actually, this, the whole watch is basically about the deadbeat seconds. You can find out more about this watch from my article on ablogtowatch.com. And thank you very much for watching this review. If you find these reviews useful, please subscribe to the Ablog to Watch channel. Thank you.